A Christian biblical canon is the set of books that a particular Christian denomination or denominational family regards as being divinely inspired and thus constituting an authorized Christian Bible. Such Bibles are always divided into the Old Testament and the New Testament. The early church primarily used the Greek Septuagint or LXX as its source for the Old Testament. Among Aramaic speakers, the Targum was also widely used. The apostles did not leave a defined set of scriptures, instead the canon of both the Old Testament and the New Testament developed over time. The Catholic Encyclopedia article on the New Testament describes the process of assembling the histories and letters circulated within the early church until the canon was approved by a series of councils seeking to ensure legitimacy as inspired scripture. The idea of a complete and clear-cut canon of the New Testament existing from the beginning, that is from apostolic times, has no foundation in history. The canon of the New Testament, like that of the Old, is the result of a development, of a process at once stimulated by disputes with doubters, both within and without the Church, and retarded by certain obscurities and natural hesitations, and which did not reach its final term until the dogmatic definition of the Tridentine Council. Fifty Bibles of Constantine In 331, Constantine I commissioned Eusebius to deliver fifty Bibles for the Church of Constantinople. Athanasius recorded Alexandrian scribes around 340 preparing Bibles for Constance. Little else is known, though there is plenty of speculation. For example, it is speculated that this may have provided motivation for canon lists, and that Codex Vaticanus and Codex Sinaiticus are examples of these Bibles. Those codices contain almost a full version of the Septuagint, Vaticanus is only lacking 1–3 Maccabees and Sinaiticus is lacking 2–3 Maccabees, 1 Esdras, Baruch and Letter of Jeremiah. Together with the Peshitta and Codex Alexandrinus, these are the earliest extant Christian Bibles. There is no evidence among the canons of the First Council of Nicaea of any determination on the canon. However, Jerome 347 to 420 in his prologue to Judith makes the claim that the book of Judith was found by the Nicene Council to have been counted among the number of the sacred scriptures. Topic: The Vulgate Bible Topic. Pope Damasus's commissioning of the Latin Vulgate edition of the Bible, c. 383, was instrumental in the fixation of the canon in the West. This list, given below, was purportedly endorsed by Pope Damasus I. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, Jesus' Nave, Judges, Ruth, Four Books of Kings, Two Books of Chronicles, Job, Psalter of David, Five Books of Solomon, Twelve Books of Prophets, Isaiah, Jeremiah, Daniel, Ezekiel, Tobit, Judith, Esther, Two Books of Esdras, Two Books of Maccabees, and in the New Testament, Four Books of Gospels, One Book of Acts of the Apostles, Thirteen Letters of the Apostle Paul, One of Him to the Hebrews, Two of Peter, Three of John, One of James, One of Jude, and the Apocalypse of John. The two books of Esdras refer to the books of 1 Esdras and Ezra Nehemiah, which are entitled, First Ezra and Second Ezra in the Old Latin Bible, corresponding to the two books, Esdras A and Esdras B of the Septuagint version. Jerome, as the author of the Vulgate, in the preface of the books of Samuel and Kings, explains the following. To the third class belong the Hagiographa, of which the first book begins with Job. The eighth, Ezra, which itself is likewise divided amongst Greeks and Latins into two books, the ninth is Esther. Pope Damasus I is often considered to be the father of the Catholic canon. Purporting to date from a Council of Rome under Pope Damasus I in 382, the so called Damasian List. Appended to the Decretum Gelasianum gives a list differing from that which would be the accepted by Canon of Trent only in including one Esdras as canonical, and, though the text may in fact not be Damasian, it is at least a valuable 6th-century compilation. The Oxford Dictionary of the Christian Church states that a council probably held at Rome in 382 under St. Damasus gave a complete list of the canonical books of both the Old Testament and the New Testament also known as the Gelasian Decree because it was reproduced by Gelasius in 495, which is identical with the list given at Trent. <laughs> Augustine and the North African Councils 
Topic. Augustine of Hippo declared without qualification that one is to prefer those that are received by all Catholic churches to those which some of them do not receive. On Christian Doctrines 2.12. By Catholic churches, Augustine meant those who concurred in this judgment, since many Eastern churches rejected some of the books Augustine upheld as universally received. In the same passage, Augustine asserted that these dissenting churches should be outweighed by the opinions of the more numerous and weightier churches, which would include Eastern churches, the prestige of which Augustine stated moved him to include the Book of Hebrews among the canonical writings, though he had reservation about its authorship. Augustine called three synods on canonicity: the Synod of Hippo in 393, the Council of Carthage 397, and the Council of Carthage 419, M 237 to 8. Each of these reiterated the same church law. Nothing shall be read in church under the name of the divine scriptures, except the Old Testament, arguably including the books later called Deuterocanonicals and the canonical books of the New Testament. These decrees also declared by fiat that epistle to the Hebrews was written by Paul, for a time ending all debate on the subject. Philip Schaff says that the Council of Hippo in 393, and the third according to another reckoning the sixth Council of Carthage in 397, under the influence of Augustine, who attended both, fixed the Catholic canon of the Holy Scriptures, including the Apocrypha of the Old Testament. This decision of the Transmarine Church however, was subject to ratification, and the concurrence of the Roman see it received when Innocent I and Gelasius I repeated the same index of biblical books. This canon remained undisturbed till the 16th century, and was sanctioned by the Council of Trent at its fourth session. According to Lee Martin MacDonald, the revelation was added to the list in 419. These councils were convened under the influence of St. Augustine, who regarded the canon as already closed. A consensus emerges The division of opinion over the canon was not over the core, but over the fringe. And from the 4th century, there existed unanimity in the West concerning the New Testament canon as it is today, and by the 5th century the East, with a few exceptions, had come to accept the Book of Revelation and thus had come into harmony on the matter of the canon, at least for the New Testament. This period marks the beginning of a more widely recognized canon, although the inclusion of some books was still debated, Epistle to Hebrews, James, 2 John, 3 John, 2 Peter, Jude and Revelation. Grounds for debate included the question of authorship of these books note that the so-called Demasian Council at Rome had already rejected John the Apostle's authorship of 2 and 3 John, while retaining the books, their suitability for use revelation at that time was already being interpreted in a wide variety of heretical ways, and how widely they were actually being used 2 Peter being amongst the most weakly attested of all the books in the Christian canon. Christian scholars assert that when these bishops and councils spoke on the matter, however, they were not defining something new, but instead were ratifying what had already become the mind of the Church. Topic Eastern canons Topic The Eastern churches had, in general, a weaker feeling than those in the West for the necessity of making a sharp delineation with regard to the canon. They were more conscious of the gradation of spiritual quality among the books that they accepted e.g. the classification of Eusebius, see also Antilegomena and were less often disposed to assert that the books which they rejected possessed no spiritual quality at all. For example, the Trillin Synod of 691-692, which was rejected by Pope Constantine see also Pentarchy, endorsed the following lists of canonical writings, the Apostolic Canons c. 385, the Synod of Laodicea c. 363, the Third Synod of Carthage c. 397, and the 39th Festal Letter of Athanasius 367. And yet, these lists do not agree. Similarly, the New Testament canons of the Syriac, Armenian, Georgian, Egyptian Coptic and Ethiopian churches all have minor differences. The Revelation of John is one of the most uncertain books, it was not translated into Georgian until the 10th century, and it has never been included in the official lectionary of the Eastern Orthodox Church, whether in Byzantine or modern times. Topic Peshitta topic The Peshitta is the standard version of the Bible for churches in the Syriac tradition. Most of the deuterocanonical books of the Old Testament are found in the Syriac, and the wisdom of Sirach is held to have been translated from the Hebrew and not from the Septuagint. 
This New Testament, originally excluding certain disputed books 2 Peter, 2 John, 3 John, Jude, Revelation, had become a standard by the early 5th century. The five excluded books were added in the Harklean version 616 AD of Thomas of Harkel, the standard United Bible Society's 1905 edition of the New Testament of the Peshitta was based on editions prepared by Syriacists Philip E. Pusey D. George G. William D. and John Gwynne. All 27 books of the common Western canon of the New Testament are included in this British and Foreign Bible Society's 1905 Peshitta edition. Topic Armenian canon Topic The Armenian Bible introduces one edition, a third letter to the Corinthians, also found in the Acts of Paul, which became canonized in the Armenian Church, but is not part of the Armenian Bible today. Revelation, however, was not accepted into the Armenian Bible until c. 1200 AD when Archbishop Nurses arranged an Armenian synod at Constantinople to introduce the text. Still, there were unsuccessful attempts even as late as 1290 AD to include in the Armenian canon several apocryphal books, Advice of the Mother of God to the Apostles, the Books of Kriapos, and the ever-popular Epistle of Barnabas. The Armenian Apostolic Church at times has included the testaments of the Twelve Patriarchs in its Old Testament and the Third Epistle to the Corinthians, but does not always list it with the other 27 canonical New Testament books. Topic East African Canons Topic The New Testament of the Coptic Bible, adopted by the Egyptian Church, does not include the two epistles of Clement. The canon of the Tewahedo churches is somewhat looser than for other traditional Christian groups, and the order, naming, and chapter, verse division of some of the books is also slightly different. The Ethiopian narrow Canon includes 81 books altogether, the 27-book New Testament, those Old Testament books found in the Septuagint and accepted by the Orthodox, as well as Enoch, Jubilees, 1 Esdras, 2 Esdras, rest of the words of Baruch and three books of Maccabean. These three Ethiopian books of Maccabees are entirely different in content from the four books of Maccabees known elsewhere. The broader Ethiopian New Testament canon includes four books of synodos, church practices, two books of covenant, Ethiopic Clement, and Ethiopic Didascalia, apostolic church ordinances. However, these books have never been printed or widely studied. This broader canon is also sometimes said to include, with the Old Testament, an eight-part history of the Jews based on the writings of Flavius Josephus, and known as Pseudo-Josephus, or Joseph ben Gurion, Joseph Valdecorian. Reformation era Topic. Before the Protestant Reformation, there was the Council of Florence 1439 During the life, and with the approval of this council, Eugenius IV issued several bulls, or decrees, with a view to restore the Oriental schismatic bodies to communion with Rome, and according to the common teaching of theologians these documents are infallible statements of doctrine. The Decretum pro Jacobitus contains a complete list of the books received by the Church as inspired, but omits, perhaps advisedly, the terms canon and canonical. The Council of Florence therefore taught the inspiration of all the scriptures, but did not formally pass on their canonicity. It was not until the Protestant reformers began to insist upon the supreme authority of Scripture alone, the doctrine of sola scriptura, that it became necessary to establish a dogmatic canon. Martin Luther Topic. Martin Luther was troubled by four New Testament books, Jude, James, Hebrews, and Revelation, and though he placed them in a secondary position relative to the rest, he did not exclude them. Martin Luther proposed removing these antilegomena, the books of Hebrews, James, Jude and Revelation from the canon, echoing the consensus of some Catholics such as Cardinal Cahiton and Erasmus, and partially because they were perceived to go against certain Protestant doctrines such as sola gratia and sola fide, but this was not generally accepted among his followers. However, these books are ordered last in the German language Luther Bible to this day. Luther also removed the so-called deuterocanonical books from the Old Testament of his translation of the Bible, placing them in the Apocrypha, that are books which are not considered equal to the Holy Scriptures, but are useful and good to read. Council of Trent 
Topic. In light of Martin Luther. S demands the Council of Trent on the 8th of April 1546 approved the present Catholic Bible canon which includes the deuterocanonical books and the decision was confirmed by an anathema by vote 24 yea 15 nay 16 abstain the council confirming the same list as produced at the Council of Florence in 1442 Augustine S. 397–419 Councils of Carthage, and probably Damasus 382 Council of Rome. The Old Testament books that had been rejected by Luther were later termed deuterocanonical, not indicating a lesser degree of inspiration, but a later time of final approval. Beyond these books, the Sixto Clementine Vulgate contained in the appendix several books considered as apocryphal by the Council, Prayer of Manasseh, 3 Esdras, and 4 Esdras. Topic. Protestant confessions Topic. Several Protestant confessions of faith identify the 27 books of the New Testament canon by name, including the French Confession of Faith 1559, the Belgic Confession 1561, and the Westminster Confession of Faith 1647. The 39 Articles, issued by the Church of England in 1563, names the books of the Old Testament, but not the New Testament. The Belgic Confession and Westminster Confession named the 39 books in the Old Testament and, apart from the aforementioned New Testament books, expressly rejected the canonicity of any others. None of the confessional statements issued by any Lutheran church includes an explicit list of canonical books. Luther himself did not accept the canonicity of the Apocrypha although he believed that its books were not held equal to the Scriptures, but are useful and good to read. Topic. Synod of Jerusalem Topic. The Synod of Jerusalem in 1672 decreed the Greek Orthodox canon which is similar to the one decided by the Council of Trent. The Eastern Orthodox Church generally consider the Septuagint as the received version of Old Testament scripture, considered itself inspired in agreement with some of the Fathers, such as St. Augustine, followed by all other modern translations. They use the word anagignoskomina, anagignoskomina, readable, worthy to be read, to describe the books of the Greek Septuagint that are not present in the Hebrew Tanakh. The Eastern Orthodox books of the Old Testament include the Roman Catholic Deuterocanonical books, plus three Maccabees and one Esdras, also included in the Clementine Vulgate, while Baruch is divided from the Epistle of Jeremiah, making a total of 49 Old Testament books in contrast with the Protestant 39 book canon. Other texts printed in Orthodox Bibles are considered of some value like the additional Psalm chapter 151, and the Prayer of Manasseh or are included as an appendix like the Greek 4 Maccabees, and the Slavonic 2 Esdras. <laughs> Apocrypha most of the Old Testament books of the Protestant Apocrypha are called deuterocanonical by Catholics per the Council of Trent, and all of them are called anagignoskomina by the Eastern Orthodox per the Synod of Jerusalem. The Anglican Communion accepts the Apocrypha for instruction in life and manners, but not for the establishment of doctrine. And many lectionary readings in the Book of Common Prayer are taken from the Apocrypha, with these lessons being read in the same ways as those from the Old Testament. The Protestant Apocrypha contains three books three Esdras, four Esdras and the Prayer of Manasseh that are accepted by many Eastern Orthodox churches and Oriental Orthodox churches as canonical, but are regarded as non-canonical by the Catholic Church and are therefore not included in modern Catholic Bibles. Various books that were never canonized by any church, but are known to have existed in antiquity, are similar to the New Testament and often claim apostolic authorship, are known as the New Testament Apocrypha. Some of these writings have been cited as scripture by early Christians, but since the 5th century a widespread consensus has emerged limiting the New Testament to the 27 books of the modern canon. Thus Roman Catholic, Eastern Orthodox and Protestant churches generally do not view these New Testament apocrypha as part of the Bible. Topic. Modern Bibles Topic. 
Today, most biblical compilations comply with either the standards set forth by the British and Foreign Bible Society in 1825 which corresponds to the Protestant Bible, or with one that includes the deuterocanonical books prescribed for Catholic Bibles and the anagignoscomena for Eastern, Greek Orthodox Bibles. Other common variations include the pocket-sized Gideon's International versions that include the New Testament, Psalms, and Proverbs although the selection of books for inclusion does not comprise a canon. References External links Michael Barber, Loose Canons, The Development of the Old Testament Part 1, The Sacred Page Dale B. Martin, Introduction to New Testament History and Literature Course Materials, Open Yale Course, Yale University Pamphili, Eusebius, Schaff, Philip, ed., Ecclesiastical History, Christian Classics Ethereal Library The development of the canon of the New Testament, includes very detailed charts and direct links to ancient witnesses.